1975 marked the official end of the Vietnam War and was a devastating loss to the United States. After years of sacrifice, Saigon was taken by the North Vietnamese, with remaining U.S. personnel narrowly escaping by helicopter from the U.S. Embassy. This year also introduced us to the summer blockbuster movie, with the release of a movie that had everyone fearing the ocean. The summer of 1975 was full of mystery, especially after a disappearance that had everyone asking one question, where's Jimmy Hoffa? The new year brought us a new game show, because on January 6th, Wheel of Fortune premiered on NBC. The game show was hosted by Chuck Woolery, while Susan Stafford was spinning the letters. On January 29th, an explosion rocked the headquarters of the U.S. State Department in Washington, D.C. No one was hurt, but the damage was extensive, impacting 20 offices on three separate floors. Hours later, another bomb was found at a military induction center in Oakland, California, and was safely detonated. The domestic terrorist group, the Weather Underground, claimed responsibility for the bombs. On March 19th, Pennsylvania became the first state to allow girls to compete with boys in high school athletics. After a court decision, the Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic Association was ordered to permit girls to practice and compete with boys in all interscholastic athletics, including contact sports like football. On March 30th, Easter Sunday, the deadliest mass shooting to take place at a private home was carried out in Hamilton, Ohio. James Ruppert murdered 11 of his family members at an Easter gathering, and then called police three hours later and waited for them to arrive. Ruppert was convicted of two of the killings, but was found not guilty for the other nine by reason of insanity. On April 4th, at a time when most Americans were still using typewriters, friends Bill Gates and Paul Allen founded Microsoft, a company that made computer software in Albuquerque, New Mexico. On May 30th, distance runner Steve Prefontaine died after losing control of his car and crashing into a rock wall in Eugene, Oregon. Prefontaine held every American outdoor track record between 2,000 and 10,000 meters when he died at the age of 24. On June 7th, Sony introduced the Betamax, the first home recordable video cassette. The Betamax would be short-lived because JVC's VHS tape would be introduced the next year. On June 20th, Universal Pictures released director Steven Spielberg's adaptation of the best-selling book, Jaws. The story of a great white shark that terrorized a New England resort town became an instant blockbuster and the highest grossing film in movie history at the time. It also made countless viewers terrified to go swimming at the beach. On July 30th, Teamsters Union President Jimmy Hoffa was reported missing in Detroit, Michigan. Although his body was never found, it is believed he was a victim of a mafia hit, but Hoffa's fate has remained a mystery. On August 25th, Bruce Springsteen's third album, Born to Run, was released. The album was not only Springsteen's breakthrough album, but also the record that forever cemented the prolific singer-songwriter's place in rock and roll history. On September 5th, Lynette Frome, a follower of jailed cult leader Charles Manson, attempted to assassinate President Gerald Ford in Sacramento, California. The attempt was stopped by a Secret Service agent and Frome was arrested, convicted, and sentenced to life in prison. On 
On September 22nd, a second assassination attempt was made against President Ford. This time it was a radical FBI informant named Sarah Jane Moore who took the shot in San Francisco. Luckily, the gun sight was off and she narrowly missed him before being taken down. She too would receive a life sentence for the crime. On October 4th, a small Cessna carrying professional wrestlers crashed in Wilmington, North Carolina. John Valentine, Ric Flair, Bob Brugers, Tim Woods, and David Crockett were on board the plane, and the crash killed the pilot and severely injured several of the NWA wrestlers. On October 11th, NBC aired the first episode of Saturday Night Live. The late-night sketch comedy show's first host was George Carlin, with Billy Preston and Janice Ian as their first musical guest. The show created by Lorne Michaels made stars of Chevy Chase, John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, and Gilda Radner, among many, many others. On November 10th, a ship called the Edmund Fitzgerald sank 15 miles off the coast of Whitefish Point, Michigan, in Lake Superior. A day earlier, the Fitzgerald left Superior, Wisconsin with 26,000 tons of ore headed for Detroit, Michigan. All 29 crew members on board were lost in the rough seas of Lake Superior. November 19th saw the release of the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, based on the book by Ken Kesey. The film directed by Milos Foreman and starring Jack Nicholson and Louise Fletcher would go on to win the Academy Award for Best Picture the following year. To close out the year, on December 28th, the Hail Mary was born. With just 32 seconds left in the NFC Divisional Playoff game, Dallas Cowboys quarterback Roger Staubach threw a legendary 50-yard touchdown pass to Drew Pearson to defeat the Minnesota Vikings. The Cowboys' luck would run out in Super Bowl X a few weeks later, when they were beat by the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs>